I hope I don't feel like I'm beating a dead horse when it comes to this subject, but I had to speak about this uh, particular situation right here that is, it's, I guess you can say it's old news, but since everybody has something to say when it comes to the casting of Halle Bailey as the Little Mermaid, as Ariel in the Little Mermaid, it's one common talking point that keeps coming up. When people say, oh, well, what if they casted a white person to play MLK? Or what if they casted a white person to play such and such, a person who actually existed, which I always say is a very failing talking point, considering we can literally go through history and pull out instances of that happening. But one instance that doesn't get talked about much is about the casting of Sergeant Jason Thomas. Now, in case y'all don't know who this guy is, this man's name is Sergeant Jason Thomas. I don't know if he still goes by Sergeant or if he's now formally Sergeant, but at the time he was. But Sergeant Jason Thomas, I just want to like, you know, properly give him his his title was one of the individuals who was around during 9-11. He actually helped save a few people in the wreckage. And in 2006, they released a movie called World Trade Center, you know, starring Nicolas Cage. And I believe Jason, what's his name? Pena? I believe that's his last name, Pena. No, I don't know if his name is Jason Pena, but I do know his last name is Pena. Someone can let me know down in the comments. But I do know Nicolas Cage was the lead actor in that movie. Well, in the movie, Sergeant Jason Thomas actually had an actor who portrayed him in the movie but shocked to no one's surprise this was the actor that they got to portray him this guy right here it says september 11 2001 sergeant jason thomas climbed through the debris of a collapsed world trade center tower and helped rescue two port authority police officers so naturally film studio studios cast a white actor to portray him in the movie world trade center never forget now, I was reading through like some different write ups to see what the response was to that. They said it was some controversy behind it. And that basically that that came from the people at the studios. And they said that they were unaware, quote unquote, that Jason Thomas was a black man. And until after they had already started filming the movie. Now, one would say that the best thing that they could have done was go back and reshoot those scenes with a black actor for this particular part. Now, I've never seen World Trade Center, so I don't know how big of a part the character had in the movie, how big or how small, but the fact of the matter is they could have went back. If they picked up on that mistake while they were filming, they could have went back and did reshoots of his scene with another black with a black actor, but they chose not to. They chose to keep the white actor in the film portraying a black man who was a hero in the movie anyway, even after they pointed out that they made a mistake or they didn't do the research, which really just shows how lackluster they are. Because how are you going to not do research on everything involved with such a very tragic event mind you this movie came out five years after 9 11 happened so it's not like you had to do that much research it's not like the movie came out 20 years after it's not like it came out in 2021 it came out in 2006 five years later so it shouldn't have been that hard to find out that jason thomas was a black man and even after they found out they decided to keep the pc actor in there playing him which means they snatch a huge part of this man's story away from him an opportunity to look at himself on the screen i'm sure when he looks looked at if he ever saw the movie and i wouldn't blame him if he didn't because one it would have been traumatic to have to like look at that be glamorized you know in that such in that regard and also to have to look at someone else portray him that doesn't look anywhere near him or even identify as a black man so i definitely hold the people who made this film heavily accountable as well as the studios 
Like this was a real man that's still alive. Like I actually typed Jason Thomas's name into Google and looked up uh, like a video and they actually interviewed him last year on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. So he's still very much alive. I think he's married and he has like five kids. So that's why I decided to make this video because you had so many of these, so many of these trolls, PC and non-PC alike saying, well, if they would have casted a white person to play MLK because they let, love bringing up MLK or any other historical black figure that lived, then they say, oh, we'll be mad about it. Meanwhile, look at this. They did it with this movie. And you can say that this is fairly recent. The movie is not even 20 years old. And they did it right here. They casted a whole PC actor to play a whole black man. And how ironic, it's in a heroic role. Yet again, adding another trope that they do not want to see black people, especially black men, as heroes. Even in stories that are real, that where something actually happened. They said this man pulled out two cops. Two poor authority cops from the debris at the risk of his own life and theirs. And they didn't even have the decency to actually cast a black actor. It could have been a known actor or an unknown actor to portray this man. And he was supposed to just be okay with it because the people at the studios who made the movie were unaware that it was a black man, even though you did your research on everything else, but ex but you didn't know that the act that, that the character that you had being portrayed was black. If that was the case, it would have just been best for you not to even have the character in the movie at all. And even after they found out, they still kept it in. But Y'all want to be upset about a fictional character. See, and the thing is, at the time in 06, social media was still fairly new. All you had then was MySpace and Facebook. Smartphones, we weren't there yet. Smartphones, um, as far as more mainstream, as far as like the iPhone and the Android didn't come out until like over a year later. People were still dealing with regular flip phones. You couldn't really get on and access the internet on your phones yet. So you still had to rely on using laptops and um, desktop computers and still dealing with dial-up because we weren't even using Wi-Fi yet either. So it wouldn't, it would have been hard for us to get this kind of information. Like they literally stole that moment away from this man. Granted, he'll always have the valor because they can't take away the fact that this man did a, uh, did a heroic act. But the fact of the matter is, if no one knew who, who Jason Thomas was, everyone would have thought that he was a white guy. Because a lot of people would have relied heavily more so on the film and not so much on what actually happened to try to realize who these people were. I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell to be notified if the bell does not work. I always upload my videos in a premiere style format, which means you can hit the notify me button at the bottom left or bottom right of the thumbnail. And you should receive the notification. The links will be down in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.